Hi, I'm Lewis from Experian. I've been researching and writing about credit cards for over 10 years, and sometimes I still find them to be confusing. But in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to cover some of the basics about how credit cards work. I want you to be able to avoid the common pitfalls that people experience and get the most out of your credit cards. So let's start with some basics. A credit card is a revolving line of credit, meaning the account stays open as you use it. If you get a loan and then need to borrow more money, you'd have to reapply for a new loan. But with a credit card, you can borrow money, pay down the balance, and then use it again and again and again. But you can't borrow an unlimited amount of money at a time. With most credit cards, the credit card issuer gives you a credit limit, which is the highest your balance can go before the issuer starts declining new transactions. Your balance increases when you use your card, and it goes down when you make a payment. Credit cards also offer many perks, and you might be familiar with some of these, like cashback rewards, miles, and points that you can use to save money or travel. Credit cards also come with extra card hold benefits, such as an extension on manufacturer's warranties when you buy products, or travel insurance that can help you save money if your trip is delayed or canceled. You might even get free cell phone insurance if you pay your cell phone bill with your card or statement credits worth hundreds of dollars. Additionally, you won't be liable if someone else uses your credit card without your authorization. All these are great reasons to use a credit card. But you might be wondering, how do credit card issuers afford all these perks? They make a little bit of money every time you swipe your card and they charge various fees. But most of the profits come from interest and credit cards have really high interest rates. When you receive your bill, you'll see that there's a statement balance and a required minimum payment. If you pay the full statement balance every month, you won't pay interest on your purchases. However, if you pay less than that, you will revolve or carry over some of your balance to the next month. Once that happens, the rolled over portion and your new transactions start to accrue interest daily. And the interest even accrues on the interest, compound interest. You won't receive interest-free purchases until you've paid off your card in full. Now there are many types of credit cards, cashback, hotel, airline, rewards, balance transfer. These categories describe different perks or offers that the cards have, but the basics are always the same. You might benefit from using your card, but if you can't afford to pay in full, the interest can quickly add up. Those are the main points I want you to remember, and I hope you found that helpful. To learn more, you can read the full article about how credit cards work.